guys, welcome back to Sweta's Reading Club. Today I'm going to read about trains by Gail Gibbons. Many kinds of trains move along the tracks. Clickety clack. They are pulled by their powerful locomotives. The first locomotives were built about 150 years ago. The trains were pulled by steam engines. They used wood or coal for fuel. Today, some steam engines are still in use. There are also trains that have diesel engines and others that are run by electricity. They all run on railroad tracks. Passengers, passenger trains carry people through subway tunnels around cities and nearby and to nearby towns. Some passenger trains stop at railroad stations and carry people to far away towns and cities. Passengers can eat and sleep on the train. There are free trains too. They carry heavy loads. Sometimes more than one engine is needed to pull a heavy long train. The cars are connected to couplers. Couplers hold cars together when one car is bumped into another. Pulling the uncoupling lever lets them up come apart. Freight trains have lots of different cars. Flat cars ha haul many kinds of cargo. Refrigerator cars carry food that needs to be kept fresh. The hopper cars are hauling are hauling gravel and coal. The train stops. Grain is poured into the covered hopper cars. The train moves on. Piggyback cars carry truck trails. Box cars and tank cars go by. The box cars are carrying furniture. The tank cars are carrying oil. These Gondola cars are hauling strap metal. The train stops. Grain is dumped from the covered hopper cars. The train moves on again. Three level track cars roll by carrying shiny new cars. At the end of the train is the caboose. The caboose is for the train crew. There are all kinds of trains. It is fun to watch them go by. Signal, signs and signals. Okay then, bye guys. Hope you tune in to the next video. Please, please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below. And share it to all your friends or relatives. Bye guys.